Hey, what's up? So, I couldn't sleep last night, so I was searching through Mrs. Mm. Klein's syllabus, and I noticed a very interesting trend. Uh... Look at them. Okay. Um, yeah. They're, um, all about young people. And they all involve suicide. Romeo and Juliet off themselves. Werther shoots himself. Holden contemplates suicide. Conrad tries to kill himself by slashing his wrists. This is what you were up thinking about last night? Yeah. Was that normal? Oh, Jesus. What? Well, I... You... Like, seeing down this week, so that's a little scary, okay. I guess. How do I explain this? Um, okay, think about what it means to be a teenager, okay? Your parents pressure you to succeed. Your, your, your friends pressure you to do shit you don't want to do. Social media pressures you to hate your body. It's hard, even if you're a well-adjusted kid from a good family. Okay. So now imagine you can't be with the person that you love, like Romeo and Juliet or Werther or you lose the person that you love, like Holden or Conrad. There is a reason why when every author from Shakespeare to Salinger writes about young people, they can't avoid the truth that being young is so painful. It's almost like, too much to feel. I mean, are you like suicidal? Oh God, I mean, Look, I'm not gonna kill myself, but have I thought about what it would be like to just not be here anymore? Yeah. And I don't say that casually, but I do say it because hiding that shit and not saying it makes it worse. It should be talked about. All of our shit should be talked about. The teenage years are Limbo, you're somewhere between being a kid and an adult and the world it tells you to be mature and express yourself, but the minute that you do, it tells you to shut up. The thing is, adults are just scarred kids who were lucky enough to make it out of limbo alive. Which is why the theme of our last issue should be teenage limbo. Oh.